everybody, it's Captain Kyle, and I'm here with another Versus review. I do like one in a month, and now I'm doing like a bunch at once, but hey, because stuff came out that I can do Versus reviews with. Okay, it's Origin Autobot Jazz. Just like in the first episode of the Transformers cartoon ever, more than meets the eye. I haven't broken him out of his box yet, but looks like somebody tried at the store. And I'm putting him up against the Fall of Cybertron Jazz. So, two different versions of the Cybertronian mode of Jazz. We're gonna compare them. You can figure out which one is better and let me know in the comments which one you like the most. Let's get to this. Be right back. Now, I hadn't yet broken this guy out. I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy knife. Knives are handy dandy for opening packages and not people. I'm just throwing that out there. Also be careful around your cats with them because it hasn't happened, but I would hate to accidentally hurt one of my cats with a knife. This safety message has been brought to you by the Cybertronian Council. All right, let's pull him out. We've got him stuck in this cardboard prison and his drugs are on the inside. Okay, cool. I was worried when I saw the rip after I got home, I didn't notice it in the store, that someone had snaked out his weapons. That would suck. Oh look, trash. We have the Buzzworthy Bumblebee instructions for Jazz. And we have Jazz here. I have to say, just first impressions, he looks like Jazz. He looks like the Jazz that I remember from that particular first episode. I gotta rewatch that so I can make more of the shorts that people uh, are alternately amused by and disgusted by. Well, let's see what we have here. We have his gun. Sorry, Jazz, stay over there. We have his gun. Standard little weapon, looks nice. And apparently a uh, grappling hook type thing that can be mounted on the end of the gun so he can shoot a grappling hook. I'm gonna put this away before I cut myself. And that's also part of the legacy evolution. So this is Origin Autobot Jazz, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Transformers, Transformers Legacy Evolution. It's got so many titles, it's like in Wadi. So let's check out the robot mode. We got the instructions there for eventually the vehicle mode. But he looks like Jazz, he's got the visor, he looks cool, he's got the uh, the grill, which it's interesting that he's got like earth headlights and an earth front of his car, but he's obviously not an earth vehicle. I'm gonna be curious to see what the transformation where that front ends up. So he feels like a solid figure, looks like a solid figure. Let's put him through his paces. So he can do a full toes up Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now it kind of pushes at his little backpack here. See everyone's complaining about RC having a backpack. He's got a backpack too. He bends at the knee, of course with his really like, he works out with these calves. It's like 89 degrees, not 90 degrees. He can do side kicks. He does swivel at the legs, so that's good. He can do leg lifts, he can kick backwards. This keeps flipping when I do stuff like that because he's not supposed to exercise. Does he twist? He does twist at the waist, so that's a good thing. I like that. His arms, he bends at the elbow. You can also kind of bend it back. He's got like a, almost a double joint. Here. Obviously the shoulders, he can go all the way around. He can go out to the side. He can swivel his arms. So very good articulation with the arms and the head turns. And I gotta say, I would love to see a line. Obviously they gotta do wheel jack. I don't know that we saw anyone else in their Cybertronian mode but if they just kind of took this as kind of a aesthetic and they were able to make all the original Autobots into these types of vehicles, that would be really cool. I would love to see that. Then you could just have, you know, before they left Cybertron, a huge war. So ankle rockers, let's see, does he have those? Yes, he does. Always wanna be careful because sometimes they don't look like ankle rockers. And if you try to force something that's not an ankle rocker to be one, you might have junk on your hands. So there he is with ankle rockers. Yeah, I like the posability, I like the figure. He's very cool. All right, but before we get to his vehicle mode, let's see the other Cybertronian form that had come out previously in the fall of Cybertron line. It is Jazz. This Jazz, I'm gonna tell you already, is probably not gonna be quite as articulated, but he can not quite do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme split. If you just try to do a regular split, yeah, he's not getting quite there. Does bend at the knee. He does have a little bit of a swivel because of the ball joint, but it's not a full swivel, but you can actually swivel at the knee. So you can go that way. He doesn't have ankle rockers. These Transformers is from the days before they did the ankle rockers. But yes, he can bend at the knee. He can 
kind of move his leg into a very uncomfortable looking angle. He does not twist at the waist, so little Cybertron, you got issues. Arms go all the way around. He also has uh, swivels on the arms, so he can point out to the side. I forgot to check. Um, this one's fists don't twist. Neither does this one, so they're even on that score. But he bends at the elbow, though he can't go beyond 90 degrees. It looks about 90 degrees. Oddly, he also looks somewhat double jointed because when you kind of overextend the elbow a little bit, his head also does turn, so that's a nice thing here. So he's not quite as poseable, but he's still not a bad figure. And I didn't really show the back views. Let me show both of them from the back. You can check out their asses if you want. This is kind of kind of unadorned, simple, but kind of nice. A little bit, you know, you can tell it changes in some kind of vehicle. This is much more detailed. He's got, looks like jetpacks back here. And you know, this looks a little bit cooler from the back. But both cool figures side by side. You can see the Fall of Cybertron one just a little bit taller. Our Origins one is just shy of five inches tall, whereas the Fall of Cybertron one is just a little bit over five inches. So it's not a huge thing. Obviously, Fall of Cybertron Jazz looks like he skipped leg day a lot, whereas Origins, he, he's been doing some heavy duty leg day. So both cool figures, both armed. He's got this grappling hook. He's just got a gun. Though, of course, you can take the grappling hook off and it can be a gun. They can turn and fire and both die. But cool figures. All right, let's take a look at the vehicle mode. So obviously we're gonna take the gun out of his hand and I'm gonna refer to the instructions. Now, I know there are some Transformer fans who are like, ah, I don't look at instructions, but there's sometimes subtle things that you miss, and these Transformers nowadays are getting so clever, sometimes it's a really good idea to look at those instructions. So there he is in his vehicle mode. Kind of reminds me of a George Jetson vehicle. Meet George Jetson. But also reminds me of what he looked like in the original show. Now, what's interesting is his chest plate, which is very Earth-like. Um, goes on the bottom and kind of covers his face, which is kind of cool. So they can still incorporate that. So he looks kind of like his Earth mode without being his Earth mode. The front, almost like a Colonial Viper, but a pretty nice transformation. I actually had seen pictures and thought he was even gonna be smaller, whereas he is about four and a half inches in length. So that's not too bad. Okay, well, depending on what you're talking about, but for this toy, it's not too bad. And his arms on the bottom, you can kind of put them on it, rest them on it. He doesn't have wheels, he doesn't roll, but then again, <laughs> neither, neither do most of the Siege toys. Again, I'm not complaining because they're cool bots, but, but there you go. Origins Jazz, he's got his gun on top. And on Cybertron, you know, pretty much, it's not a disguise, it's just a uh, vehicle mode for convenience. Days of them disguising themselves from other Transformers, well, Soundwave did it, but not, uh, you see a vehicle going down a Cybertronian road, you're probably figuring it's an Autobot. All right, put you aside. Let's get your uh, alternate universe version into his vehicle mode. And there is the fall of Cybertron version of Jazz. So looks a little more like a sports car. It's got wheels, which kind of work. Again, much better on a textured surface. Smooth surfaces, he's just gonna slide, get no traction, get into an accident. His insurance rates will go up, it'll be horrible. There he is, he's got his gun weapon storage right there, again on Cybertron, who cares? He's got the uh, little jets here that I imagine give him some extra speed, but also keep him on the ground. Because if you have jets in the back, it could potentially hit a light, slight dip and go flying off and to an uncontrolled flight and smash into somebody. But it is a cool little sports car, the back, you can pretty much see his fists there, so that's not as good. When you look at the back here, you know, it doesn't give away that it's a robot. The Autobot symbol does, but you know, they both have Autobot symbols. But he's a pretty cool looking car if you don't have this guy. I mean, I don't know if it looks like they're doing some Studio Series style Fall of Cybertron reissue type things, you know, upgraded. I don't know if they're gonna do one for Jazz, but if you can get this guy, he is, just a hair over four inches long. So he's actually a little bit shorter than the origin version. Both of them are very much in scale. 
know if they met each other. The brothers, they could form a band, who knows? But uh, yeah, I definitely like what they're doing with the origin stuff because, you know, we never really saw these guys in their full forms. Now, I don't know if they're gonna consider the Siege Seekers to be like the Tetra Jets or if we're gonna get Origin Starscream and have them look a lot more like those jets. That would be interesting and I wouldn't totally object. But yeah, two different looking vehicles, but both very cool versions of Jazz. Definitely recommend him this one. I ordered him through Hasbro Pulse and then I saw him at Target and got him there. So actually the Hasbro Pulse one is about to show up. So I'll have extras. Who knows what will happen there. And uh, so go to Target. I'll put links to Hasbro Pulse and any place else. And of course eBay in case you're watching this later and you have to pay a late fee. Or sometimes you can get a, like a deal on eBay. Believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe. So there's that one. This guy you're definitely gonna have to go to eBay for and I'll put a link to that. So Fall of Cybertron Jazz is very cool. Um, definitely has a whole sports car vibe. Whereas this looks like a uh, like a police car from the Jetsons, to be quite honest, you know. Pull over, George. I don't know why I use that voice. But yeah, which one do you like better? I mean, I think they're both fine toys, but you let me know in the comments what you think. And while you're mulling over, if you're gonna get this one, or if you wanna get this one, or if you already have them, and you're like, I don't gotta get anything you can check out this video over here, which is actually the G1 Jazz, but a counterfeit if you want to replace or acquire for the very first time the G1 version without breaking the bank. Of course, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you've been enjoying these videos. We'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.